Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode we're going to be looking at this right here, this is a sharp projection alarm clock with sleep sounds. So it has 8 soothing sleep sounds, it's electrically operated, it has a projector which I don't plan to use that much but we're going to see it anyway just for demonstration. And it has two alarms. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so the connector works on, let me see, 5 volts output. But before we power it up, we're going to look at everything. Here's alarm one, alarm two, the time, it kind of wobbles if you, I don't like that. Okay, there's time, projector, negative, snooze, dimmer, slip, sound, and plus. At the front, we just have the screen. At the bottom, we have the um, batteries. And uh, we have a very small compartment over here. I don't know what that's for. But we have a battery compartment for AAA batteries. You need two of them. Let's close that up. It looks weird. This is weird. On the back you have that connector and you have four screw holes, which you're not supposed to be doing anything about. And the projector doesn't seem to... Ooh, that doesn't sound nice. This is terrible. Um, this is already looking bad. Look at that. At some point this is going to break right there. It has that little tab. That tab goes into those slots. That's what keeps it in place, which is fine, but I just have the impression that that's gonna break when this gets old. But fortunately, I don't care about the projector anyway, so. And it only moves in one direction, the up and down, so, but not left and right. Okay, so let's power it up and see what it can do. Plug it in to our standard outlet and let's power it in right there. Wow, that absolutely looks beautiful. Let me turn off the lights just to show you. Okay, this is weird. You can actually see through the plastic. It's all lit up if you look at it like that. I don't know why, but... Um, well, it is white plastic, so you can actually see through here. Not that that matters, but um, it just doesn't look perfect. Also, the angle of uh, the, the viewing angle is from the top, and it does look sharp from the top, like that. If you were to do this, I cannot see it at all. It's completely blurred, so whatever you're going to do with this, you're either going to have it completely in front of you, or you're going to be at the top like that. For the most part, you're either it's, it's, it's either going to be like that at the front, or you're going to be above it. But you can never be below it, because you can't read anything. So the first thing I want to do is set the time. Right now it's 6.15. In order to set the time, um, the first thing you want to do is come over here at the top. And you're going to find a button called time, which is this one right here. So you're going to press and hold that button to change the time. So let's press and hold. And now we get to change the hour. To change the hour, you press the 
plus or minus. So let's look for 6 p.m. So that's 6. Now let's press the time button once again to change the minutes. So that'll be 19. Nineteen, and now let's press the time button once again and there we are so it's 6 19 p.m. so that's how you change the time okay to set the alarm um, you're gonna choose one or two alarm one or two and that corresponds to the left or the right so let's set the one on the left which is alarm one to start the setting process, you press and hold alarm 1, and then the hour starts flashing. So you're going to use the left, the negative or positive buttons to find the hour. So let's find 6 p.m. And now press alarm 1 again. And now let's search for the minutes. So let's do 28. And now press alarm one again. And now you get two choices, either beep or sound. I'm gonna leave it at beep. So you press the plus, the this right here, the plus or the minus, either one. And that lets you choose. I'm gonna leave it on beep. And now press alarm one once again. And that's it. But now we have to make sure that we actually turn on the alarm. Make sure it's set to turn on. You have to press this one right here, alarm one and the, that bell comes on. So that tells you that it's gonna be sounding. If that bell does not come on, it's not set, and it does not automatically set. So let's wait. So it's 6.27 p.m. Let's wait for 6.28 p.m. Okay, so it is sounding. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is sounding. Okay, so let's snooze. And snooze will keep it. It starts flashing, as you can see. Those Zs, that means it's snoozing. Now, if you want to just completely turn off the alarm just press over here and that'll get rid of the snooze and the alarm set indicator okay now let's set alarm 2 to set alarm 2 you press and hold over here alarm 2 press and hold and the hour starts flashing so let's look for 6 p.m. At six, now press alarm two once again. The minutes start flashing, so let's look for 35. Press alarm two once again, and now you get a choice of either sound or beep. So I'm going to leave it at sound and then press alarm two once again, and then the time is set. But now you have to turn on the alarm. To turn on the alarm, you have to press once. And that sets the alarm to sound. So now let's pick a sound that we like. Let's do um, press sound over here. I'm going to leave it at campfire. Press and hold. That turns it off. And now let's just wait. So it's going to sound. It's going to wake. You're going to wake up to campfire. So I, I'm a little bit skeptical about you being able to wake up at that kind of sound, but we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear it, but the campfire sound is already coming on. So let's snooze. Yeah, the instructions say that it's going to be five minutes for snooze. So I'm not going to demonstrate it because that's too long to wait so so to reset it so it doesn't make any more noises press alarm 2 again to turn it off 
and everything else is turned and that's turned off right now. So you do get choices to wake up to. Right now we're at campfire, so let's change it to if you want to change the sound, so now we get to change the sound. Press sound. So just press it once. That's rain. Ocean. Brook. White noise. Thunderstorm. Rainforest. Fan. Campfire. So to turn it off, to turn off the sound, let's leave it at, um, let's leave it on ocean. To turn off the sound, you press and hold the sound button. Okay, I don't know if you heard what I said, but um, to turn on the sound, you press once and the sound will come on. To turn it off, you have to press and hold. So let's test that. So there we go. To turn it on, you press it once. If you want to change the sound type, you press it once and you keep pressing once. So it'll keep moving around and then to turn off the sound, you press and hold. So that is how you change the sound. So the last thing we can do about this uh, device is look at the projector. So if you want to look at the projector just for a little bit of time, you have to press the projector button once and it'll, it's going to stay there for a little bit of time. For example, press it and it'll stay there for a little bit of time and it turns off. And if you want it to stay on, you have to press and hold, press and hold, and it'll stay on. And if you want to turn it off, press and hold again, and it turns off. So now let's power down the lighting in this studio, and let's see how it looks. Okay, folks, so as you can see, it's still daytime outside, but let's test the uh, projector. So let me press and hold. You can't see it, but let me press. Let me just turn it on. And press and hold. Okay, it turns on right there. And now we got the time up there. So I definitely do like it. So now let's try to change the angle. So let's see what it. So that does look nice. I accidentally covered it. It does look nice. So right now it's too bright outside to see it. So let's let's move it to over here at the wall. So if you want it at the wall, that's how it's gonna look like. Now I have to tell you that there's sheet rock in my home. So that's what's getting in the way. All the sheetrock, so it's not perfectly clear. But you can still see it. And I absolutely do like it. So this is how it looks. So let's go someplace darker so we can see exactly how it looks like. Okay, so I'm trying my best and um, it does look a lot better in person than it does on camera, I have to say. So you have to have it a little bit far away, but it does look nice. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so we have already looked at the projector. So the next thing I want to show you is that um, you can change the intensity of the screen. For example, let me turn off the lights. 
So if you're at night and uh, this might bother you a little, um, you don't want any lighting at all. So you can always just um, press this big button right here. It's called the snooze dimmer sleep. So press it once and it dims it a little. Press it again. It dims a, a little. Press it again and it completely turns off. So this is the brightest medium low and off and of course you can turn off the projector if that's bothering you too you come over here press and hold and it turns off so let's go to the sounds again i want to talk to you a little bit more about those sounds Let me um, change the volume. I want to change the volume on the sounds. So let me find out how to do that. To change the volume on the sounds, let me turn on the lights. Let me turn on the screen. If you want to change the volume on the sounds, you just press the, either the negative or the positive. Negative lowers the volume and positive increases the volume. So we're set right now at Brook and let's um, lower the volume on on the sounds. Okay, so that's how you change it to um, maximum eight, minimum one. So the next thing I want to do is um, I want to find out what the batteries actually do. So let's go back here and let's putting the batteries, put in the batteries, I'm sorry. One, two. So now let's cover this up. And now let's have a power outage. So Here's our power outage. Hmm. So it's holding time. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can light up the, the screen. We cannot light up the screen. Let me turn off the lights. Oh, it lights up a little bit. Just a tiny bit. But it turns off. Let's look at that again. So even on battery mode, it does light up, but only temporarily. And then it turns off. So now let's see if the battery, the, the alarm will sound with the lights, uh, with just the batteries. So let's set alarm two. Okay, so now let's wait. Remember, this is battery mode. There's no connection there. Nothing's connected. It's just battery mode. So presumably you're having a power outage and um, there's no power to this device. So we, all you have is that battery back backup. There we go, folks. Okay, so definitely it does work with just the batteries. So actually, this is almost fully functional with just the batteries. Other than the screen doesn't work. And let's see what the projector does with just batteries. So let's turn on the projector. Hey, it turns on. So let's, it turns on and then turns off. With just batteries, remember it's just batteries, no connection. So now let's see if we can turn it on and keep it on. It won't let me do that. Turns off. Let me turn it, keep it on. It won't let me do that. It turns off. So I'm surprised at this. I'm very, very pleased, very happy. Let me turn on the lights.
So let's let's make the power come back on. Okay, so we got power back. So this is absolutely cool. I'm very happy to be able to show this to you. Let me completely turn off the alarms. So I'm very happy. I like the sounds. They're not very great, the sounds. I think I only like the thunderstorm, the rainforest. I don't like the fan. I like the campfire. I do not like the rain. I do not like ocean. I do not like... Well, I kind of... I kind of like Brook. White noise. Kind of, kind of cool. But I think thunderstorm is the best. So if you're going to buy this for the sounds, you might want to stay away from this. Let me turn that off. Yeah, if you're going to buy this for the sounds, the sounds are not that great. Maybe, maybe just thunderstorm and um, some of the other ones. And rainforest and campfire those three and brook just four of them actually work the other ones are just you can't even tell what it is okay so overall i'm very happy with this device do i recommend it i would say absolutely i do recommend it but you have to be careful with it because it's um i see problems with it the sounds are not that perfect it's just very cheap low quality sound and the projector is it's just this horrible it feels like it's gonna break you have to put a, ah it's, it hurts your ears to just hear that this is one of the cheapest things they could have made it, it feels like it's gonna break when you're going down it's okay but when you're going up my ears are ringing just from the beep. It's so loud. So those are the bad things. And um, the viewing angle is limited to to r right in front or above. And I think it's absolutely great that you can use it without without power like that. If you have a battery in there. And it does not come with the batteries. And it takes AAA batteries, two of them. So overall, I do recommend it. So thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.